I really want to talk about some new Apple products today. So, Apple announced the iPhone 7 product red. Super, super awesome. Super, super cool colors. I definitely love it. It's amazing. I have a, this is the matte black iPhone 7 Plus. I absolutely love it. The color is beautiful. It's stunning. But the product red just seems better. It's more beautiful, I can say. You see the logo is very, very shiny. It's super beautiful. And it just looks like an artifact, I can say. I'm pretty amazing by the Apple design, although it's just a color change, but yeah, that is the magic of Apple. At the end, our customers are willing to pay thousands of money, thousands of bucks for the new product. So that is the magical power of the Apple. And it's and they call it the special edition, which is really special, I guess. This is the first, first Apple product with red color. Yeah. So it's absolutely amazing. The second product, it's the new iPad. This iPad, it's more like a cheap, faster, budget iPad. Especially for many people who haven't used iPad before, this is definitely something they actually want. It's super awesome, super great. It has a 9.7-inch retina display. It has a 64-bit A9 chip, which is faster than the AAX on the iPad Air 2. So it's an upgrade from the iPad Air 2. It's got 10 hour of battery life. It has iOS 10, of course, 8 megapixel, and FaceTime HD cameras, and the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. But it's actually heavier and thicker. I don't know why they make it heavier and thicker, but it's actually heavier and thicker than the iPad Air 2. But it's definitely faster, it definitely have a better display than the iPad Air 2. The battery life is kind of the same, 10 hours of battery life, which should last you for the whole day. And it's great for multitasking, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's fast, it's a fingerprint sensor, great for Apple Pay, and of course, uh, the camera is, well, okay, nowadays no one uses iPad to shoot things, so it's okay, actually. So, yeah, I would say it's a budget iPad. It's actually pretty, pretty cheap, I mean, compared to the iPad Pro, actually. The iPad Pro costs around almost 800 Canadian dollars, and the iPad is, like, $449, which is like the half of the price of an iPad Pro, but you still get a similar experience. It's definitely not better than the iPad Pro, but a similar experience. It's already fast enough, especially for many people who haven't used iPad before. This is definitely their top pick. I really recommend it for someone who hasn't tried the iPad before, who hasn't used the iPad before. It's definitely a great device for them. And yeah, this could be their first iPad, I guess. Uh, there's some additional watch band. Uh, I have an Apple Watch right now. This is the Nike version of Apple Watch. It's pretty good. Well, the only thing actually I do is doing something like Apple Pay. It's like, look at my fitness status, fitness go, that kind of stuff. I actually s s never use the app on it because it's slow. I can just take off my iPhone and do it on my phone. Why don't I do it on my watch? So that is super, super weird, I guess. And so this doesn't really attract me. I think the Nike band is pretty great. I love it. So I'm definitely not going to buy a brand new band. So yeah. Back to your iPhone. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is still definitely the top three smartphone on the planet right now, on the in the world right now. There's like my favorite phones are the Pixel, the iPhone, and probably the Samsung one, I guess. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is pretty much is coming next week. So the time point is really, really interesting that the 
Apple decided to announce on the March 21st, which is around a week before the Samsung announced their latest coolest Raiders Galaxy S8. I would definitely wait. I would definitely. I want to get a Prada Red version. I would sell my matte black iPhone 7 Plus and get a Prada Red version of iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And but I need to take a look. I need to see the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Maybe they call it a little bit because the Samsung really, really gonna put a lot of effort on this on their latest product due to. The last year, the Galaxy Note 7 explosion. So they definitely want to put the latest, latest, greatest, best technology on their Galaxy S8. So I'm really curious on how Samsung's gonna change the world. Maybe change the industrials again. Maybe, yeah, just like what Apple did in the year 2007, like introducing the first generation iPhone. So I'm really curious about all these. And I mean, the Apple. It's still one of the most innovative companies in the world, definitely, and I'm really, really more curious to see what it can do at the September event and all the October event. I'm really curious to see. But let me say, it. I really love the iPhone 7 Prada Red version. It's absolutely beautiful. I definitely love the iPad. It's a great addition and maybe the first iPad for many people, so it's awesome. It's make it really affordable the apple really make it affordable and it means the apple is really good at doing this because you know the samsung announced their galaxy type f3 in the ces 20 no it's not ces in the february event and the ipad is just better than the samsung tablet i guess because they really have a strong software the ios 10 super awesome it's just one of the best it's the best it's not one of the best it's the best mobile platform i have ever seen so that's what i'm gonna say and comment on the apple this release it's not a big release definitely not a big release it's just some slightly upgrade they're definitely adding the 128 gigs onto the iPad mini 4 and the iPhone SE and all these things I started pre-ordering this Friday and maybe come to the store next week so we're gonna see very very soon so this is my first YouTube video so and my first language is not English so I really need your comments feedback I am just a high school student so I am really 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 not familiar with YouTube before but I really want to start it at least this is my first video It's a great start I wouldn't say a great start it depends how you guys like it or not so thank you for watching and have a great day thank you